Okay, so today we're starting with the um, lightsabers. So you're going to grab the video, bring it up into your layers. We want to rename that group video. Then we're going to add a new group, hit a little plus sign, and we're going to name this group lightsaber. Now with that group selected, actually let's just increase our zoom here for a second so we can see the whole lightsaber in the frame. Try 200%. That's a little too big. Let's go back to 100. Okay, so we've got our lightsaber in the frame. And then we're going to go down to the Bezier tool, click on it, and select Bezier. And what we'll do now is we're going to click and add points. We're going to create our shape of our lightsaber. Add the dots and then when we close the shape make sure you've got that circle. Okay so here's the shape of our lightsaber. See the red box and there's our shape there. If we go to inspector and turn off the outline and now we're left with our color. So you can change the color, any color you want, or you can change it to from a solid color to a gradient so that there's a bit of change in the color. So a little drop down arrow will bring this menu, then if you click you can add more color spots so that you can again just add a little bit more color variation to your lightsaber. By clicking on the little boxes you'll bring up the color menu and then you can change your color to suit the look you want. I like the gradient because as your laser or your lightsaber moves right, it gives a bit more depth to your color. Okay so now Okay, so as you see, as we move the playhead, our shape doesn't move. So we need to bring our playhead to the beginning, and now we're going to move our shape to cover the lightsaber in that starting position. Naturally, let's just go over and hide the shape. So we still see the outline, but we don't see all the coloring. That'll help us as we go through. Now we're going to add a keyframe so that at this point in time, this is where our shape is going to be. We can zoom in a little bit. Now we're going to use our arrow keys to move one frame over, so towards the right. And now we're going to keep moving our dots so that we keep that stick covered. And that is how our shape is going to move. So you move the dots, hit the arrow key, and move at the dots again. So again you can see it's a pretty slow process. It's not hard but you do want to try and be as precise as you can. So we're going to speed things up here so you can see. If the lightsaber doesn't move very much. Sometimes you can skip a couple of frames. So now let's have a look, see what it looks like. There, so for the first maybe second, we've got that done. You can see it, it does pretty well. Now, if you look at the shape, it's pretty rectangular, and a lightsaber is not rectangular. So to do that, let's select our shape. We'll go to style, or sorry, shape and geometry. And we're going to bring that slider, that roundness slider, up a little bit and see how that changes our shape. So there, now that, that's a better shape for a lightsaber. And let's select, and again we can adjust that until you get exactly the roundness or the shape that you want for your lightsaber. Good.
Now we're going to go back in time so that we can continue moving. The other thing we can do is under shape and geometry or the style is we can feather it so that it's again not quite as sharp of an edge it just gives that lightsaber a little bit more kind of depth so now let's click the arrow to get back to our last keyframe we can hide our color and let's keep working through this So it's really important that, again, we keep those points so that we're masking or hiding that stick. So now let's watch it from the beginning. All right, so it's starting to look pretty good. Now we can also add a bit of an outline. <clears throat> Again, this is a matter of preference. Um, so we want, don't want to make it very wide. So narrow, maybe one pixel. Have a look at it. Change the color. And you want to choose a color that's pretty close to the lightsaber itself. And again, that's kind of a personal decision. You get to decide how you want your lightsaber to look. So we can make the, the outline a little less opaque. So we can drop the opacity a little bit. But again, it just adds another kind of layer of definition to your lightsaber. Now we can actually also grab the color from our lightsaber. So if you click and drag it into that little bottom drawer, you can then use that color later on so instead of so that you can exactly match colors and so I'll we'll just click on it and there we go good that looks better so again play through it have a look yeah our lightsaber is looking good okay so here's a complete video so you can have a quick look at what it should look like you'll notice some of the there could be some fine tuning at points, but this is basically your lightsaber.